<laughs> yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> if you want me to pay, I don't have this money. Yeah, normal. I'm so happy. Me too. And like she continued to be like very flirty. So like she wanted to grab my Yo, this is the second version of this video. The first one was removed by YouTube because these scammers, about which you learn in this video, complained that I broke the confidentiality policy of YouTube, releasing this video with this girl face, with this scammer girl face. Wow. Well, whatever. Now all faces are blurred, all rules of YouTube are strictly obeyed. And as a bonus, at the end of the video, I'll show you how these scammers try to threaten me and they promise to find me punish me and humiliate me. So, please watch this video until the end, even if you watched it before, it will really help, because I think all people should know about this kind of scam. Alright, back to the video. I'm waiting for my Uber to meet with this girl. And we met on Tinder. The whole story sounds a little bit sketchy, like, sounds like a tourist trap, to be honest, because she didn't really have photos, like face photos. Yeah, but I still suggested, like, let's meet up, and she was super down, and she wants to meet up in a lounge, like in a, in a mall. That's something I would never think I would do in Jordan, <laughs> when traveling to go to the mall, to the places I, like, never go. I think I'm going just because it sounds very sketchy. <laughs> and after, like, we texted in the WhatsApp, uh, and then she removed our like uh, Tinder conversation. So I don't know what's gonna happen. How she can scam me? Like we're gonna meet up in a public place, and uh, we're gonna like hang out. Uh, so yeah, let's see. Let's see. Maybe not. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm like too over suspicious. Uh, but I, I I really want to check this out. Like you know, in either case, it's gonna be fun. Right now I'm waiting for my Uber, uh, which will take me directly to the mall, and uh, we'll see. Uh, what will happen. I always wanted to try uh, Tinder as a way to meet locals. That's why I installed it and uh, contacted some, some locals. And I think it's it's fun, you know. Uh, also, from what I understood, uh, it's, it's very... So, well, I'm going on a dinner date in Middle East. How about that? Here you can see like the night Oman. I still love the city, even though I got scammed. Uh, okay, so what happened? I Ubered to this mall. Okay, apparently this is very fancy neighborhood. There you can see like the Rolex and hotels and there is McDonald's, Pizza Hut, like everything like somewhere in Europe. A bad sign, I would say. <laughs> Red flag. But okay, let's see. Shukran. It's a cart. So, yeah, this is the mall. And uh, I think this is gate one and she's at gate two. So let's see, let's see if I can find her. And uh, she was waiting me like kind of on the other side of the mall. Oh, hi, hi. And uh, I was thinking like, that's weird. Okay, we, we met. When she saw me, like she jumped on me, you know, like she was like so happy to see me. Oh, okay, okay. Like an old good friend or like a dog that you haven't seen for a while. Yes, I am. I'm good, how are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Oh, so beautiful. <laughs> yeah. yeah? Oh my god. <laughs> and, and she was like very flirty, like very touchy and stuff. Oh, How's it going? Thank you, yes. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> I knew immediately like this is a scam. Actually, even before I knew it's a scam, right? But I kind of want to see like, want to push it, you know, like what is a scam? <laughs> come, come. <Whoa. laughs> So where are we going? There. What? Oh, What's there? Oh my god! So very tall. So she takes my hand and we go somewhere uh, inside some residential buildings, you know, like somewhere, uh, you know, some hidden streets and stuff. And I'm like, like, where are we going? You know, like, this is kind of weird. Uh, like at that point, I was a little scared uh, because uh, I thought like there'd be like, you know, like some some thugs waiting for me and just like wanted to, to rob me, even though like I haven't cash maybe like ten dollars um, and this camera. So, but I mean, still kind of not not good experience, right? But I was like, okay, okay, uh, let's let's see what happens. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Basketball? What's that? Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh my god, so nice. <laughs> oh, but little. No, it's, it's <laughs> okay, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> this one? Yes, yes. Okay. It's a nice place, just here. Yeah. And then I saw uh, like a bar, this kind of like lounge, uh, bar, shisha thing that I never in my life go. And uh, this time I was like, okay, 
interesting so this is the scam we're gonna go there and she's gonna uh, order drinks and stuff and it's gonna be super expensive nice so you live close uh, to this area yes my area yeah so we go in we uh, sit inside and uh, I see like the people inside are kind of like I don't know it feels like some weird vibes yeah. for sure okay very Okay. Okay, okay, no problem. Okay, okay. Only outside. Okay, okay. Cool. What do you like to drink? Uh, can you see the menu? Yeah. And then I take a look at the menu right before ordering. Like I'm a, you know, I'm, I'm a smart traveler, uh, and I see the prices are fucking crazy. You know, for one shot of anything, you pay 20 euros. 20 it's it's a lot you know it's a lot but uh you know like in some super fancy places it's fine to pay that right but this place wasn't that good so uh i don't know i what what is common here to drink no no what is common what is Soft drink or hard drink? I think soft, uh, hard drink here and soft drink uh, if you want beer uh, uh, as you like. Yeah. You drink alcohol, soft drink. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, still, still thinking. Uh, yeah, yeah. So what do you want? And what's the price here? The price is ask you later, but I. So this is I the price or not? This bottle, bottle, not uh, glass. This glass, one liter. One liter. Half liter. Is it is it good price? Yes. Yeah. That's for alcohol, not for soft drink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. So alcohol is expensive here, right? Yeah. I don't know. Just ask the waiter. Just uh, he comes. Ask. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you, what do you uh, usually drink? What is your uh, favorite drink? Favorite, my favorite, I, I, my favorite, more. What? Yes, more. I, I, more drink. Coffee, my favorite, but just uh -huh. my favorite, favorite vodka, vodka, the vodka with uh, chemical mix, yeah. with bitter lemon. <coughs> Okay, gin tonic, how much is gin tonic? 15. 15. And here are the, uh, the shots, right? Here, sir, for a glass. Here, buy like a small bottle. Here, <coughs> half. Here, one bottle later. Oh, okay, okay. For, I see. Glass, yeah. for you, not for me, because I want uh, this chemical mix. Oh, where is it? Where is it? Cooked and mixed with alcohol. This one? Yes, this, this one. This one, wow, okay. It's it's expensive. Yeah. No, not expensive. I don't have this uh, cash. No, no, no. This is too much. Like this is this is very high price. No, no. What? 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 I want. I I need this. I was like, okay. Like this is weird. I think I'm not gonna order anything. You know. Like I can do that. Uh, and she was like super weird. I was like, oh, like what? You're not gonna order alcohol? Like you don't drink? And. And like she continued to be like very flirty, so like she wanted to grab my whole attention, you know. Uh, and uh, but I was like pretty clear in my head. Uh, I wasn't paying attention to her because like I knew it's a scam. But still, still, you know, I was, uh, I was thinking like, what, what should I do next? Like I can just leave, right? Uh, but I wanted to see what's the scam really because this 20 years vodka doesn't seem like a scam. Uh, so what I did, I. Uh, decided to order a coffee. Wait, wait, I think I'm just gonna get coffee for now, okay? Do you want coffee? Yeah, just coffee now, yeah. Maybe later, later, yeah. Uh, with sugar or no? Uh, with Without sugar, sugar, yes. Yeah. Just coffee for now, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm thinking, yeah. And I said to the waiter and to her, I'm gonna order coffee for myself uh, and you can order whatever you want, I'm not gonna pay for you. I don't have money, 
uh, I pay only for me. If you want me to pay, I don't have this money. <laughs> okay? Yeah, normal. I'm just tired. What? I'm so, so happy. Me too. And I said it like maybe five times, you know? Uh, so she knew exactly that nothing. Wow. Uh, that nothing will happen. Uh, they're like, I'm not gonna pay for her. And the uh, uh, waiter also knew that. So uh, I was curious, like, what's gonna happen next? Yeah? Yeah. Okay, okay. I teach. Yeah, yeah. So nice in English. And uh, you're from Amman? Yes, from Amman. Yet, not yet, I just I just arrived yesterday. Yes. Do you want to smoke? No, no, I I don't like it. I smoke. No, I'm I'm good. Cool. And what happened is that uh, she like she ordered the most expensive drink like for like I don't know like for a hundred dollars or something, and I was like. Okay, this is interesting. Like, what's the police number in Jordan? <laughs> uh, because I knew it's gonna be a conflict, okay? And then, uh, and then I said like, okay, like I'm drinking this coffee and I think uh, it won't work for you. I also like tried to talk to her like, hey, like, do you do it often? Like how many tourists do you catch like this? She wouldn't answer any of this. Like she was, till the end, she was like, oh, like we're on a date. It's like so cute, you're so tall. Like she was like flirty. Uh, like so she wouldn't confess until the very end uh, and even at the end like she didn't confess like she didn't say anything like I tried just to kind of talk to her about her job you know I was like what do you do what do you work so what do you what do you do nothing we do know after I don't know later okay no I mean uh, like what do you like do you work do you study yes. like what is your yes work yes Finish? What did you study? Uh, graphic design, but uh, just uh, now manager sales online. Okay, okay. Nice. Ah, so nice. Yes. Yeah, money. Yeah. Uh, graphic design, no money, little money. Little money. Okay. Uh, anyway, it didn't work. And then uh, she's like, oh, like I want to order another drink. And I'm like, do whatever you want. But like, I'm paying for my coffee and I'm going to leave. And she's like, oh, what? Like, like she heard it for the first time, you know. And then, and then, what happened then? So she told it to the waiter, and uh, they come both of waiters uh, come with a payment thing, to, like to pay with a card, right? Uh, I mean, I hear some strange sounds here, so I'm not sure. Is it just rats or cockroaches? I don't know. Okay. Anyway, and they approached me, and like, here's the bill, and the bill was like two and a half uh, GD which is uh yeah which which is actually more than 300 dollars i think yeah so that was the original bill and i was like <laughs> no, no, no there is no way i'm gonna pay for it because i'm not gonna pay for it that's it <laughs> and they're like no but you have to pay for it i was like what the fuck is it i just drink my coffee and uh, then then uh, this waiter uh, showed to me uh, the whole price breakdown and actually it made sense it made total sense because it was written everything in the menu just like like little uh, letters you know uh, somewhere like between sandwiches like very not obvious place that you pay here for uh, like for per person per entrance and per table so you pay like 25 uh, GD per person 25 GD per table uh, then you pay uh, for like 16% tax on top of that uh, 16% uh, and uh, my coffee was 10 GD, which I know is expensive, but I wanted to make this content, you know. Uh, and her drink was like, I don't know, it's a, like some fucking crazy number, like you can calculate. Uh, but uh, it was, yeah, it <laughs> So, okay, okay, so so me, this waiter is here, uh, and we're all like thinking, like, what do we do next, you know? And I'm like, I'm not gonna pay for it. And they're like, no, you have to pay for it, because that's what you ordered. And I'm like, okay, like, what options do I have? I either uh just leave and there are like lots of bouncers like it's a kind of like nightclub you know and i'm like okay like i need to call the police uh and like make it a huge conflict and stuff and probably i won't have to pay anything but it's gonna cost me like lots of hours of my life i think and uh, lots of stress or another option is to pay something uh and then deduct it from my credit card so they kind of uh contact the credit card company and say like it was a scam please refund me i think i've done it like uh, once before and it worked so i was kind of confident uh, that, that that's an option too so i said okay i'm paying only for my coffee 
for my uh, like my person uh, 25 GD, which is fucking crazy. But anyway, and I pay half of the table because uh, yeah, we're like it's both of us and everything else she pays. I don't fucking care how. I mean, you work with her probably, and then like we calculated the price. It was like everything like very stressful. Uh, like the guy was like uh, very stressed out. Girl was just sitting there, and uh, she was like upset that I'm like so care about money. You know, she's like, oh, like relax. You know, like all this shit. Oh my god, like this is so crazy. Like how how these scams work. And uh, so I ended up I ended up paying 85 GD. No, 85 euros. 85 euros. So uh, it's uh, it's a lot. It's it's fucking crazy for nothing. You know. Uh, but right after, like in the Uber, I uh, kind of cancelled this, I applied for cancellation of this transaction and I hope the bank will get to me before I publish this video so I can uh, include the update, uh, you know, like maybe tomorrow or like in a few days. Okay, there are two ways. Either I pay this money and I, I made a great content, uh, even though they told me not to film in the club, I kind of didn't turn off my camera. But at the end, I still had to do it because my battery was low. This is like, this is the saddest part. That's why I'm telling you the story now. You know, like sitting here uh, near the Citadel because I couldn't record the whole thing. My battery was dying and I, I was feeling my camera turning so warm. So I, I turned it off at some point uh, and I didn't have a chance to turn it on again. So if you do doing Tinder while traveling, be aware that this is a widespread scam. I've heard about it many times. Uh, and today I experienced it and made this video so you cannot make the same mistake. So if the bank doesn't refund me, this video cost me at least 85 euros. So I really, really hope you're gonna like it. Write down in the comments about your biggest scam uh, or anything you want actually uh, and subscribe to the channel. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I think I'm gonna head out to my uh, hostel which is, which is right there. After I published the first version of the video, I got various threats from the members of this scam bar. And for you to get some idea what kind of people they are, I'm gonna read some of the messages, some of the threats. Okay, let's start. They write to me. And when I say they, it's apparently the whole gang and they manage this WhatsApp account from which this girl uh, texted me initially. So, okay, the message. In three minutes, the government will be monitoring you. This is a matter of honor. He writes, they will sue you in your country. You'll accept the shoes to solve this problem. She's an Arab girl. They will put you in an awkward position. Ha ha ha, you're gonna kiss legs to fix this problem. And yeah, all these all this stupid threats. And of course I replied that, yeah, I don't give a shit. Like, it's not, it's not scary at all. Like, you're a scammer, not me. But I think my favorite one was this one. Okay, you got yourself into something. Even your embassy won't be able to help you. Wow. I'm really happy I filmed the whole thing and I'm really happy that this video is out. It's all public now and I hope thousands of people will, will see this video because this is very important and I think many people deserve to know how this kind of scam operates because it operates basically in every city in the world. Like it's not just in Jordan, it's everywhere. So if you're in Jordan and you want to see the scam with your eyes, I'm gonna leave the coordinates of this place like the Google Map link in the description so you can you can visit, you know. And also I think that after a few complaints uh, to the Jordan tourist police, they're gonna shut this place down. So, alright, peace.